first glance, this decking might look like it's made of wood. But it's actually a man-made alternative to wood called composite decking. This type of decking won't scratch, crack, or rot, and it never needs a paint job. Thanks to a very unique mix of plastic, plant fibers, and garbage. Making composite decking starts with making millions of plastic pellets from scratch that then get melted down to be molded into planks. The pellets are made from a composite or a mix of three main ingredients. The gray stuff is powdered sludge, a byproduct of paper recycling that's scraped out of the bottom of the recycling machine. The mix is bulked up even more with dried rice hulls. They're the hard outer shell of the rice grain. In addition to adding toughness, the rice hulls contain a mineral called silica that protects both the rice and the decking from fungus and mold. The final ingredient is tough, high-density polyethylene plastic, the same stuff used to make milk jugs. All three ingredients are mixed in huge 2,200-pound batches, along with coloring to make it the color of wood. Once everything is mixed, it's pumped into a compositor machine that melts it down to make the pellets. Here's a peek at what's happening inside the machine. The melted composite is forced through a die that spits it out like long strands of chocolate spaghetti. The color is actually mahogany, like mahogany wood. Melting everything together and forcing it through a die like this is the only way to get an even mix of color and ingredients throughout the decking. When the machine is closed up, a cutting blade spins in front of the die, so as the melted goo squirts out, it's chopped into dog food sized pieces. Warm air inside the machine dries the pellets before they spill out of the machine and onto a vibrating conveyor to separate out the pellets that are too big for the next machine. That machine is called an extruder. It remelts the pellets to 300 degrees. So the mahogany colored composite can be shot through a die to shape it into a long plank. Here the machine is open so you can see the composite coming out of the die. It's soft like taffy. And without the machine to support it, it slumps to the floor. The die in the machine shapes one long continuous board five and a half inches wide by one and a quarter inch thick. As the hot plastic planks come out of the extruder, they feed directly into a 30 foot long cooling tank that uses a shower of 80 degree water to cool and harden the planks. Vacuum pressure inside the tank helps the composite hold its shape while it cools. At the end of the 30 foot ride, the plastic composite is as stiff as a board. Just three minutes after the plastic pellets were melted, the long plank is rock solid and ready to feed into a saw that chops the one continuous plank into individual boards. The saw can be set to cut boards of any length. These ones are 12 feet long, a common length for decking material. Now you can see the planks are hollow inside, which helps cut down on the weight. After the boards are cut, they head for one last machine that squeezes them under a rapidly spinning steel brush to scratch a wood-like texture into the surface. As the finished planks reach the end of the line, they slide across a roller that automatically stacks them up on pallets. But before they ship out, random samples are tested for strength and durability. A press bears down with more and more pressure until the board snaps. These boards hold up under more than 1,200 pounds of pressure, which is more than enough to support a hot tub or anything else you'd put on your deck.